Club in New York City. Ed Hill is taking the stage when we return. All right, this has been a fantastic show. You guys ready for a little more? Well, please welcome this next guy making his television debut, Mr. Ed Hill! New York City! Oh my God. It's good to be here, guys. It's good to be here. I had a weird few days, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was on my way here, I was checking in the airport, walk up to the counter, the guy looks at my pastor, looks at me, goes, wow! You're big for an Asian. I was like, wow, you're root for a person. And he saw my face, he's like, oh man, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying you're a colorful group of people, you're hardworking, and you're small. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're talking about Oompa Loompas, but thank you, just give me my ticket. I gotta go. There's weird people everywhere. I'm sure you guys met them, right? Yeah, but for some reason, they love to talk to me. I'm like the weirdo whisper. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like I was at the mall, just at the food court, waiting in line for my food. Guy walks right in front of me, looks at me, goes, hey, Angela? <laughs> uh, what? He's like, are you Angela? I'm like, are you okay? Because I'm a guy. And he's like, oh, uh, you just look like somebody I know. <laughs> then he just walked away. He just walked away. I'm like, you can't end a conversation like that. Because there's a woman out there named Angela who looks just like me. And she's okay with it. <laughs> like zero percent, this should be Angela. <laughs> I feel like Angela can do better, you know what I mean? I feel bad, I don't know. It's everywhere I go. Want to see a movie lady, the new Mission Impossible movie? Walked in, gave the guy my ticket. Guy goes, sir, can I see your ID, please? I'm like, huh? The movie's rated PG-13. <laughs> so there's a chance that he thought I was 12. I was like, dude, seriously? He's like, sir, we ID everybody from one to 100. <laughs> one to 100? If a one-year walks through the door, buys a ticket, and comes up to you, I don't think you should ask for his ID. I think you should call the FBI. There's some weird stuff is happening in your town. I don't understand how I get myself in these situations. I don't understand. The guy was just hanging out at a party, standing in the back, you know, talking to a guy I just met. Middle of the conversation, he's like, Ed, I just bought this new truck. You want to see it? I was like, yeah, I'll see a new truck. That's cool. So he takes out his phone, turns it on, and it was a picture of a giant dick. <laughs> and he just looks at me, he goes, oh, oops, I guess that's not it. And I just kept scrolling. I'm like, what do you mean that's not it? He's just gonna move on like that didn't just happen? <laughs> that's not a flower. <laughs> that's a picture of somebody else's dick, because I'm pretty sure you're not black. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I, I guess I react a little much, I did, because uh, there's a girl standing next to us, she's turning around, she's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And the dude's just like, oh, uh, we're just looking at a dick. I'm like, there's no we. I'm not part of this team. I signed up for a monster truck, and you gave me a monster cock, you know what I mean? This is not... It's a scam. <laughs> See, even the person closest to me, my neighbor, the guy living right next to me. I was taking out the garbage on Sunday, bumped the guy. He's like, hey, I'm just wondering, uh, does soy sauce taste like Alfredo sauce? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> the hell is Alfredo sauce? Like, <laughs> I don't eat that. So I just ignored him because in my heart, I knew this conversation is going to go nowhere. And he kept going with it. He's, he's like, you know what? I just love Alfredo sauce. It's so white and warm and creamy. I just love it in my mouth. <laughs> Whole time he was talking and thinking in my head, holy crap. Is Alfredo a guy? 
I gotta move. Even my parents are weird. My parents are immigrants, so they came from a different country. Now, if you come from a different country in North America, you can pick a new name. So my parents could have named themselves anything. So my mom named herself Candy, like the dessert. And my dad named himself Smiley, like a freaking idiot. Candy and Smiley. It's like midget point gone wrong. You know what's the worst part? Is when I was a kid, I had to go to the library, I had to use my dad's card because I'm a minor. So every time I go to the counter, a lady will scan the card. She's like, uh, are you Smiley? I'm like, no, I'm Angela. She gives me the books, okay? Just, <laughs> I gotta go. Runs in the whole family. My younger brother, he's 26 to this day, so paranoid. I'm dying from lying. He can't pee in the public bathroom because he thinks I'm gonna run in and flick his dick. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that outrageous? It's ridiculous. Because just because I did it doesn't mean else is gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I did for 10 years, I'm not a good person. It's just, uh... <laughs> I'm a weird guy myself, though, I am. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else, because uh, I'm, I'm scared of things I wasn't scared before. I'm scared of ghosts now. Ghosts, yeah. I'm not scared of ghosts, because they're creepy. That'd be a legitimate reason. I'm scared of ghosts, because if ghosts exist, there's a chance that one day, my parents might be ghosts. <laughs> and there's no way I can deal with that, you know what I mean? I don't need a ghost that's gonna scare me and make me play the piano afterwards. I mean, that's terrifying. And they're gonna be Asian ghosts, so they're never gonna leave, never. Like, you can't even do an exorcism, because they'll just pretend they don't speak English. Like, I, I can't <laughs> deal with that. My body is weird too. I'm allergic to everything, everything. I'm allergic to alcohol, marijuana, and nicotine. All three, yeah. You know what's the diagnosis? Mormon. Uh, no, it's, that's stupid. This is the truth. Every time I go with my friends, I gotta drive. I'm the designated driver. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, that sucks. You never get to have any fun. No, I think it's amazing. Because it's the first time in history where humanity came together and believed an Asian driver's gonna keep him safe. You know what I mean? I'm doing God's work. I had a weird experience that kind of changed my life, though. Um, I had a chance to do comedy in my homeland, my motherland, uh, Panda Express. I uh, know, it's, it's, it's stupid. That's dumb. This, I went to Taiwan, that's where I'm from. And everywhere I went, people recognized me. And it wasn't because of comedy, it's because of a viral educational video in Taiwan that teaches people about sexual assault. <laughs> and I looked just like a guy in it. <laughs> yeah, so my face is a national Taiwanese symbol for man creep. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what? My brother heard this, he goes, oh, this is hilarious. We gotta find out who this guy is. So he Googled him. Apparently this guy was born a woman. And when he got older, he got a sex change and got into acting. And the minute I heard this in my mind, I was like, oh my God, I found Angela. <laughs> and that's my time. You guys are great, thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for more laughs.